making substitution errors and stuff like that. So we just got to make sure that we stay on top of our game and making sure that everyone communicating what person they're supposed to be on the field. And I feel like, you know, we should be able to go out and execute. This is a game in the past where you kind of knew it was going to be a smash mouth game. You were going to have to win it at the line of scrimmage every time. They weren't going to take shots downfield. Is that something? And is that different this year, obviously? Uh, you know, LSU based off, you know, they like to run the ball down here and you. That's what they've been doing. That's what they've been good at. Uh, Joe Burrows, he obviously a great quarterback. He make a lot of great throws. And I feel like they got a great offense overall. Like I said, we just got to stick to the game plan and go in and play ball. And he tweeted that you and uh, Dylan were the best linebacker tandem in the country. Just what do you think makes you guys work so well together? I feel like with him being young and me kind of being older and with me being able to experience, you know, playing behind Ruben and Sean Dion, you know, it's a lot of stuff that I can – you know, tell him, and there's a lot of stuff that, like, we can work on together. So I feel like it's just like we got a connection to where if I feel like if I'm slacking at something, he's going to pick me up. If he's slacking, I'm going to pick him up. And I feel like I feel like we, we the best in the country. How, how do you see him sort of deal with going from a, a phenom as an eighth grader to coming here and actually being a productive player now? I've always known, you know, Dylan to be a great athlete, you know, just growing up, seeing him get offers in junior high and stuff like that. So kind of like knew like he had the potential. He was a running back, of course, then he transferred, like he transferred over to linebacker and like the sky was the limit for him after that. I feel like that was the position that he needed to be playing with, you know, the type of physicality he had and the type of, you know, instincts he had with football. So I feel like that was a great move for him. He seems like a very, uh, a supremely intelligent guy, you know, especially on the field. And, and you know, were, were you surprised how quickly he kind of picked things up, you know, here? And, was able to translate on the field? I can say yeah, but in a sense, I can say no. Because, like, you know, coming in as a freshman, everybody want to play fast, everybody want to play quick, but nobody want to put the work in and learn the plays and being up here for hours trying to get to know, you know, the system. And I feel like Dylan did a great job of that. But he also knew that he was the next guy up. So he had to, he had to go through those things, had to go through those long nights, you know, to understand the playbook because. Like I said, we was, you know, low on depth, and the next guy was up with him, so he had to learn it. you feel completely comfortable in your, your leadership role now, but making the calls on, on the field, just getting everybody in position? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've always felt comfortable. You know, there's probably been some things where the teams came out in, you know, crazy formations, and I was kind of, like, cautious of what check I should make or something like that. So I try to make sure we all on the same page and that we, you know, execute the play that I do call. Uh, you, you mentioned before uh, communication, you know, that Missouri game and things like that. Uh, where do you feel like that's been in the, in, since then in the communication part? I feel like it's been great. You know, I hold myself accountable of, like I said, getting extra film every night, you know, after practice. And I kind of hold, like, leaders accountable of in the other positions, like Deontay Thompson, Anthony, Raycorn, and Q, they, uh, Q Williams on the um, D line. So. I feel like with those guys getting the extra film, it'll make it easier for them to communicate to the other guys on what to expect and stuff like that.